Hey party peeps, welcome to the Chi Ninja Sewing Space where you and I learn to style the wardrobe of our dreams. Thank you for clicking on the thumbnail and deciding to hang out with me today. Thank you for deciding to share your time with me today and watch this video. Now, this is not a sewing tutorial like we usually do. This is a video that I'm doing because over on Instagram, a very good friend and someone whom I've collaborated with in the past is having like an Ankara week appreciation type thing. So I thought I'd join in by showing you guys some <laughs> of the Ankara things I've made. I've made trousers, I've made skirts, outerwear, tops and all that good stuff. So if you stick around, turn on your post notifications, ring that bell and join me on today's video and we will start off right away hey guys where do we start off i think we'll start off here with outerwear okay i have made a couple in the past since i started making since i started making my own clothes okay um so there's this and there's this one and there's the longer one okay now let me start with this one this was the first one i made um just a simple i made it in a hurry i made it in like a day i wanted something very simple you know just a turn up turn up uh, sleeves and i put this bias binding here to have a demarcation and to do something you know and i left it open it's like a wrap around type style so you leave it open and you tie a belt on it um yeah i like it it's not my favorite thing in the world hence why i hardly wear it but this ladies and gents um i do love now, this is part of the collab i made with i made with juliet uzo who like i said has something going on instagram akara appreciation week so um we decided to make something with just one yard of fabric and yes it was a challenge a lovely challenge i'll link that video for you guys so i also showed you guys how to attach a separating zipper and now this is a make that has been uh, a revelation for me i'd say because i didn't think i'd like it but I've ended up loving it so much it goes with so much in my wardrobe and it's fly people love it and yeah it's always nice when you make something and you think oh okay it's nice I'll wear it but then you end up just loving it so yeah there's that then there is also this bucket style kimono I made okay and this is on my Ankara playlist thing and what can I say I love it so so much it was like an absolute dream for me mixing Ankara with uh, striped fabric which is a big trend at the moment and like I said there's a tutorial for the make um, nothing else to say it's very lovely it fits well it goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe and yeah very proud of myself so that is it for the outerwear let's now go into the dresses okay um so there is a couple of them here this i made um sometime last year i think it's got a slit at the back it has the these are off shoulder by the way then it has this um watch me call them it's got this um, velvet trim detail i love i love i love it looks so nice on me and i actually hope that i am playing <laughs> i actually hope that i'm playing uh, clips of these things as i'm making them as i'm showing them to you because again i love and yeah this took a while not because of anything but it was my first time um trying out 
trims and it enforced to me at least why trims are so like trims just take your outfit to a whole other level i encourage you guys to try it you will not be disappointed i promise so there's that and i don't know if you can tell but i actually used the leftover fabric from this to make this not that i would wear them together but yeah it all goes into the you know not wasting fabric and all that good stuff and sorry there's no tutorial for that one then um there's this dress i made as well and if you've been on this channel with me a while you will know that i love me some mixing and matching of Ankara and prints and all that good stuff so uh, this fabric it doesn't have a tutorial either but it was a gift from my mother on my birthday I guess she knows her daughter right so yeah I made dress and it's been very nice because I, I wear it so much you know like it's one of those other things that you make you don't know how much you're going to like it till you actually start wearing it and it's love forever but yeah there's that then there's also this as well which is actually because I made this one first and I loved it so much I decided to make this as well so they're exactly the same make except with different fabrics this is a lighter fabric this is heavier so like i said and even this one i wear it to the ground and i had to i actually had to make the other one because i'd worn this out like it was getting threadbare people kept on telling me trauma you so why not just make yourself another one so it goes to show you like when i love something i have it in multiples and yeah yeah i think it speaks a lot to the uh, dress and the garments and everything like that okay this here is another one that i absolutely love it's another thing from my i think it's my ankara collection that i have made and yeah i I copied it I copied this design of a pattern I'll show you guys what the pattern is and uh, it's just a very interesting oh another thing I love is directional prints sorry this arm is getting tired <laughs> and this dress just hits all the buttons for me you know it has um, a Dior dart there's top stitching lining everything everything about this dress just does it for me and uh, i don't know if i'm going to make another one i know i like it a lot but i don't know if i'm going to make another one but never say never we will see in the coming years so so far i've been showing you guys things i like and i don't think that's too bad because i mean why shouldn't you like the things you make now this is another thing I made and I made I think I made this Easter period yeah yeah Easter period and the dress is wonderful it's lovely it's like you can see there's a big cutout detail in the front here and it's got this step and on the inside of the dress I hopefully I am doing like a little fashion show for you guys and yeah I made it in like a week I'm getting faster in my makes guys clap for me so uh, yes it's lovely I I lined here with blue but I really wanted you know show-stopping details so I lined the inside this way with white also because I'd run out of the blue Oh no, I run out of the white, so I had to get into the blue. But yes, it's something I love. This is the back. But I wouldn't make another one. I mean, this is like a show-stopping dress. If you have two, people will be like, mm -hmm. okay? 
right now this is another dress I made and again with the mixing and matching of prints I love this so much it is a full wrap because it is joined on the inside this way but the split goes like this out so it's just that the back is just a regular but this is my I mean I keep on saying I don't like wrap like wrap things wrap top wrap dresses wrap skirts but I keep making them I don't know why but they fit you know they fit very well so yeah here is another top I made I love I wear it a lot I wear it a lot and I didn't think it was gonna last this long but yeah love 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 now on to some things I don't really love okay oh no just the one thing this is a dress I'll show you guys is a dress I just made in a hurry and it's not that it's bad it's just that it wasn't what I wanted it to be okay I was thinking I was sewing something else and I don't know you know like when you don't understand the way um, a design is and you just end up sewing something else that you don't like yeah so there's nothing wrong with it but it has been elevated to the very wonderful category of a house dress i wear it only in the house now um yeah yeah that's what there is to say about it now this is an a-line dress and i have a tutorial for it on the channel I fold it up because um, it's got really wide shoulders and they don't fit on the hanger but you can see it's a very nice a-line dress and like I said I have a tutorial on it I show you guys also how to do this double puff sleeves and all that good stuff so yeah this is another thing I wear that I like so check out the tutorials guys you would learn a lot from it I assure you now we're going on to the skirts and if there's anything about me or at least this channel we do a whole lot of skirts okay now this is a gathered skirt and it's got inseam pockets okay uh, what can I say I love this skirt there's a tutorial for it on the channel it goes with so much that I have and I mean you couldn't get me to give this skirt away even if you tried I love it that much and uh, yeah check out the tutorial on the channel and sew yourself one okay next skirt that also has a tutorial on the channel is a half circle skirt also with inseam pockets and um, yeah that's all I can say it's very colorful I love it I love the length I love how it skims on my waist on my hip sorry and flatters it's actually a very flattering skirt as any circle skirt is now on the channel I'm sewing this skirt but there's also a, a, a video detailing how to sew all kinds of circle skirts quarter circle skirts full circle skirts this is just a half circle skirt and if you turn on your post notifications and subscribe to the channel you will know when next I'm sewing any other skirt from that video like I showed you guys how to do it then we will sew each of the types of skirts up so that 
um, you guys have practical examples of that as well. Now, if you uh, check out what I've shown you guys so far, I don't have a lot of Ankara pencil skirts. In fact, this was the first, yeah, I want to say first Ankara skirt I ever made. And in my Me Made Me, I think 2018 video, I told myself and I said it there that I need to up my skirt game, my Ankara skirt game. So that's when I started sewing all these other ones I'm showing you. But this is the first one. It is a pencil skirt. I love the, it's just a simple skirt, but I did, um, I've forgotten what they call it. A flap, an actual flap on the skirt here. This is my first time doing it. I haven't done it again since. I really should to, you know, improve that skill. But yeah, very nice, simple, easy pencils, short pencil skirts. The next skirt, like I said to you guys, uh, I keep saying I don't like wrap anything but I keep on making these wrap skirts and wrap dresses this is also a full wrap skirt and I liked you know like I told you guys mixing and matching I had this with this Ankara print so it just does this lovely peekaboo effect when you walk by and this skirt is an absolute hit everywhere I go everyone loves it I love it as well I wish I still had this fabric but I don't because um, these uh, forgot what they call them flap details caught on the bias take up a lot of fabric and I split this fabric with my sister-in-law I think like three yards three yards so that's all I have okay guys I hope you're not too bored okay I hope not but we will now go into the tops and i want to bring out these two tops at once because they are this absolutely the same top um yeah and you have seen these fabrics before like i said leftover fabrics <laughs> and i made these two things with the fabric but yeah it just shows you how to maximize your Ankara pieces and with this piece I also did the mixing and matching of prints as you can see then with this one there was the whole directional aspect to it which I love so yeah you can imagine like my favorite things in a top and yeah that's all to say about that. I wear them to death by the way I do wear them to death and sorry but there's no tutorial on those two tops there is however a tutorial on this top this is my latest Ankara top make and it's very plain simple easy I love it so much but it packs a punch right a like I said again mixing and matching of prints and if you can see this this uh, Ankara print that we used here is from this Ankara here then this part that I use and I also used it to make the ties at the back is from this skirt so like I use my pieces up guys and you guys should try doing them I use them they're also very very good for for making um what should we call them bias tapes okay use your scraps to make bias tapes and um, use them in your clothing and also in the tutorial for this I show you guys how to make this square edge to do uh, reverse bias binding and whatnot so yeah it's a very very lovely thing to have in your wardrobe so last and all we're going to talk about the pants this is the most recent 
pair of trousers I made and I love it so much and this one took us on a whole journey I promised you guys I taught you guys how to do the fly front zipper how to sew on a button and buttonhole with my Faf Tipmatic 6122 and let me open this up I also showed you guys how to do a bias bound waistband okay all on this trouser and I like it very much it is a wearable muslin okay I like after making it I realized some mistakes I made but like I wear it I still wear it it's a, like I said it's a wearable muslin the other trousers I have I mean I like but they're not really my style like it took me a while to know like the, my style so this like I said again directional print you know we have this all going on at the hem and I like it a lot I wear it uh, every now and then but you see this um, like the the crotch dropped so much like I didn't know it was going to drop that much so I've decided you know those dropped crotch pants mm, they're not for me and this isn't that you know it's not it in the least but anytime I wear it it feels like that to me <laughs> so I I'm having to draw it up a lot which isn't a good look so that's why that doesn't get worn as much this one however I do wear it's only that um, it doesn't fit anymore so um, there's that but I don't have a lot of red things and at the time I wanted something red so I thought I'd go for these pants and I did wear them to death when I had them it's just um, there's no point dreaming of being a size that you are not currently if sewing teaches you anything it should teach you that to be very frank with yourself and your shape and your size and accept yourself the way you are okay so um, I will be making more pants I'll be making more pants in the future and I, actually I already cut out one today it's going to look like this which which I've discovered is the style of pants that I prefer I already cut it out I'm going to be sewing it follow me on Instagram you see like my little updates from time to time on it okay all right guys let us now have my favorites for each category okay so now for outerwear um, it's actually a toss-up between this and this and to be very honest with you I wear this a whole lot more than I wear this which is strange to me because I've wanted this for donkey years but I would say this is the winner for me it's just simple easy and I'm going to make more definitely I'm going to make more <laughs> okay now for the tops and I don't have a lot of those so I'm going to have to up my Ankara top games like if I saw a trouser or a top or whatever I need to just you know make a top sharp sharp as we say around here but yes yeah, so um, I, I think it's still this for me you know because this is this is actually a crop top it's very simple easy breezy goes with a lot of what I have in my wardrobe it's never failed me I love it absolutely absolutely without any reservation at all but the uh, next one I make is gonna have to be something different we can't keep sticking with the style you know now onto the skirts my favorite will have to be the half circle skirt because like I said I like the way it fits it makes you look very very feminine it's, it's crazy how that works but I love it very very much and it's my favorite Ankara skirt y'all 
Now, for the dresses, I want to put them in two categories. There's a going out dress and there is the like special occasion dress and there's the everyday dresses. So now, for the for the everyday dresses, which are these four right here, I think I have to say this is my favorite simple because it's again it's easy to wear you know it's just it's easy to wear what can i say <laughs> so and remember there is a tutorial on the channel check that out it's very easy to sew up as well i think that's another thing it's very easy to sew up then for the going out dresses um I think I have to say this because it just it works every time and even though it's not the easiest thing to sew up but I like it it always makes like it always makes me look nice <laughs> and I like the mixing and matching you know so this is the winner for the dresses then for the trousers absolutely this and this is just like straight pants you know i'm not really a skinny jeans person i never was i don't even have a lot of that i'm not even a jeans person believe it or not so yeah um this although it's a wearable muslin i love it and like i said i'm going to make more click on your post notifications subscribe to the channel so you can find out when I make other pants. Okay, guys. All right. I am happy that we have gotten to the end of the video. If you made it to this far, thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, go on Instagram and check out the Ankara appreciation we going on there. And I hope you know like my wardrobe my Ankara wardrobe wasn't too boring i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a thing or two i hope you check out the tutorials like i said in the cards and in the description and until later guys peace